So one of our burning questions is that how far away can you see things with our VR Lepton, VR Boson, your Touch Pro standard at TAF HD using FlowView Pros, etc. So we have worked it out for you using trigonometry and we have come up with a brief, simple formula, straightforward. And uh, if you need a calculator, we have published it on our website. Please go to sws.com, click on Thermal Solution, and then please go to the bottom of the page. You will see those calculators uh, right here. And here you will enter the field view resolution and we'll show you the distance at which the maximum distance is which you can see things. And if you don't remember the field of view of the cameras, we have compiled the exhausted list right here on top. And here we are outdoor testing out our theory. Everything is just an approximation and it depends on uh, situations, of course. But we want to, we hope to provide you with real sense of what's going on. And a D-Max calculated using the formula for a lepton is about 34 meters. And in fact, within 24 meters, you can see a person pretty well on the lepton side. But if you uh, go twice as much distance, you don't see that person anymore. But on a Philivu Pro, of course, the D-Max is much larger, as you can see well, of course. And you can see at different angles here, um, you know, if you reduce the distance to about the theoretical range of 34 meters, like right here, you can start to see that person on left hand side. And here we're testing a VR boson 220 with a theoretical D-Max of about 100 meters. It turns out within this clip that that is the borderline to detect the person just as the theory predicts. And here are some of the outdoor tests for range. You can see we uh, flew it about 400 meters away. But in fact, uh, in, the uh, in practice, you can fly a little more than that, maybe twice as much distance. Go home. If you like the idea in general, please give us a thumbs up. And please subscribe to our channel and hit that bell button. So next time we have a video, you'll be notified immediately uh, so you won't miss it. Thank you for watching this and thanks so much for your attention. Have a safe flight everyone. So here we're demoing the hacking of the DJI gimbals. We've attached the VR laptop next to the uh, gimbals of the Phantom 4 Pro and the Inspire 1. So you can see the footage is much more stable and smoother. And on a Phantom 1, you can attach VR lepton next to the gimbal and balance it out with coins like US quarters or 2 euro coins. On an Inspire 1, because of the size and weight of the drone, it allows us to attach the second thermal system, which is called the VR Touch Standard for the Flavio Pro 640. And here you can see a direct comparison of the footage from those two systems. You can see very uh, interesting comparison here.